Hi, I'm Matt from ArcGSB, and I'm going to show you how you can convert your EDI data into stylized Excel sheets. So let's get started. ArcGSB is a platform for creating custom business flows, but we also have sample flows already configured that you can plug in and use for tasks like converting EDI documents into Excel. So this video will be a companion to the sample flows that we already have published for free on our website. So here I am at ArcGSB.com flows, and I see a few different EDI to Excel flows, each for a different EDI document type. These flows are a great place to get started, even if you're not using these particular document types. For this video, I'll use the 850 flow. And I can simply click here to download the flow, which is a .arc flow file within a zip archive. I'll go ahead and extract the arc flow file with a standard zip tool. Now I want to hop over into ArcGSB itself to import the file and get started with the flow. I can use the cogwheel here in the top right and select Import. Then I'll just navigate on disk to the ArcFlow file I just downloaded, and once I've found it, I can click the Import button, and we see that these connectors that make up the sample flow are already showing up here in the Flows canvas. Alright, so as you can see, there are three steps, or connectors, in this flow. All flows in ArcGSB have this kind of structure, where each connector performs a single operation on a data file, then passes the data along to the next connector. First we have an X12 connector, and its job is to translate our EDI data, namely 850 purchase orders in this example, into XML. Whenever we transform or manipulate data with ArcGSB, we use XML as the common medium. So this is a preparation step, converting the data into XML for further processing. The X12 connector also validates the interchange headings on the EDI document, ensuring that it was sent and received by the expected parties. So you'll need to plug in you and your trading partner's EDI identifiers here in the connector settings. For right now, I'll leave the example identifiers in this flow. The second step, once the EDI data is XML, is an XML map connector. And this maps our XML into a nice friendly structure that we can use to generate an Excel spreadsheet. The flow comes with the mapping already established, so the hard work here is already done. But in case you'd like to tweak this mapping, let's take a quick moment to understand what's going on here. This mapping designer is mapping the left structure onto the right. So the left is the input that we're starting with, and the right is the output that we want. Dragging an element from the left onto the right tells the connector to map that value from the input onto the output. As you can see, we've already done this for the common purchase order values that you'll want to capture in this flow. But if you wanted to tweak this a bit, you can simply find the value from the EDI document that you want here on the left, and drag it over onto the right to ensure it ends up in the output. Now, some of the values in the output are bold, indicating that they're static values rather than being read from the input. You should set these fields to the values that stay the same across every purchase order, like the name of your company. So this mapping is designed to handle standard 850 documents generated by Amazon, but if you need specific help tweaking this mapping, then our technical team would be happy to assist if you reach out to support at ArcGSB.com. And now let's move on to the last step of the flow, which is the Excel connector. The Excel connector reads the data from the XML we just mapped and uses it to populate an Excel template that comes prepackaged with the flow. So let's go ahead and take a look at the template file so you can see what the end results of this flow will look like. Here is the Excel template for a purchase order. So you can generate files that look like this, but with your own custom EDI data, by simply inserting an X12 file at the start of this sample flow. Remember, you don't need to create this template. It comes with the downloaded flow. So why don't we put this flow to the test and see how it all comes together. First, of course, I need my sample X12 file. So this is a regular 850 purchase order in X12 format, like maybe I just received from Amazon. I'd like to make this data a little more readable, so let's now turn it into an Excel file. So to do that, I need to send this file through the flow. And the prepackaged flow comes with this input file already in the input tab of this X12 connector. I'll check it, and then hit the send button to get things started. And we can see it's already sent through this connector, translated into XML. Now if I want this to happen automatically in the future, I can always enable automation here in the automation tab. But for now, let's quickly trace that file I just sent through the flow. So over here in the XML map connector, I can open up the input tab to see that the data has already been mapped into the structure that we want. Then over here in the Excel connector, 
I can click on the same input tab to see that this XML has already been converted into an Excel file, based on that template I showed you a few moments ago. So let's head to the output tab and see the results of our flow. Once I've downloaded it, we can see that the X12 file that I started with now looks like this, with all of the purchase order EDI data preserved. So that's the purpose of this prepackaged flow, to convert files that look like this into files that look like this. And that's it for EDI to Excel conversion with our prepackaged flows. Thanks for watching, and as always, you can find more resources and a free trial of the application at arcesb.com.